Hello and welcome back to the new video of the JUnit tutorial series. So in this video, we will be talking about exception testing in JUnit. Okay, so how we can handle our exceptions in JUnit uh, while testing our test cases. And uh, now for this uh, video prerequisite, we you should know what is exception handling in Java and what are the, what are all different classes that are involved in uh, exception handling in Java. Okay, so if you do not know anything about uh, exception handling in Java, so I would suggest you to go ahead and uh, watch one video on exception handling in Java and gain some knowledge about exception handling, and then come back here and watch continue this video. Okay, so. So to explain this exception testing in JUnit, I have an example over here. You can see uh, we have cashier.java class and uh, this 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 cashier.java class has one uh, method which is validated transaction uh, method which uh, accepts the currency and the amount the amount that we are passing. Okay, so the currency for this example, I have set the currency as euro and uh, G gbp so these are the two currencies that we are passing and this currency we are passing as a uh, array uh, arrays uh, as list so we are passing this list to this uh, currency and we have one amount that we are passing and we have one two uh, two methods to validate those uh, currency and the amount right so if the currency that we are passing to this method is uh, not from these two uh, options that we are passing as a list then in that case that uh, we will uh, throw one illegal argument exception so again uh, as i told you uh, uh, this throw what is illegal argument exception you will uh, get to know only only if you know the concept of exception handling okay so we will uh, throw this one uh, illegal argument exception and we will uh, tell the user that this currency the currency that you that user is trying to pass this method is not within the accepted currencies list okay so we are uh, for example, user is trying to pass the USD, that is the US dollar currency. Then in that case, that currency is not accepted by our code. Then in that case, we will show a illegal argument exception. Okay. So similarly, we have amount is valid uh, this method and uh, both the method are boolean. Uh, so they will return true only if the conditions that are written inside them is getting satisfied okay so uh, if the amount is less than zero then in that case uh, we, we don't want that one uh, that argument as well so in that case we have written one invalid transaction amount exception and this this exception is defined over here we, we have created one more exception class so th this is the exception class with java you can see uh, the the symbol is also different for the exception class over here we we have written this exception and we are uh, pass calling the super uh, super that means we are calling the parent class method okay so over here we have saying that transaction amount must be greater than zero and uh, if the amount is greater than zero then in that case we will just simply return true okay uh, so over here we have written the if condition and we have called those two methods if both the methods are true then and then only we will return the amount then if that is not the case then in that case we will return minus one telling that uh, there uh, there uh, there is one condition where currency is not accepted or the amount is greater than uh, so sorry the small smaller than zero okay uh, so uh, we will uh, go we will go ahead and create one cashier test java class and over here inside this java class uh, we will just uh, first create our main cashier test class okay and now inside this we will write our test cases so for uh, defining the test cases we know uh, we have we have to write add test and uh, okay so after that we will write public void so public void so we will be writing two uh, methods one is to uh, check the your currency and one is to check the amount okay so we will be writing two so just let me name it as a validate uh, currency validate currency and in this method what i will be doing is we will be writing cashier dot validate uh, transaction validate transaction and we will be passing the currency which is not supported right so usd is not supported because we have not written usd inside this 
uh, list right so it should give me uh, this disk should not get passed an amount is 10 so okay so this is uh, what we will be writing and again we will be writing one more uh, test case at test sorry at test and below this we will be writing public void public void uh, validate uh, amount amount validate the amount and inside this we will be writing cashier dot validate transaction and now uh, since we are uh, uh, validating the amount uh, I will give the currency that is supported so we will be writing UR as a currency but the amount that is not supported will be giving minus 10 which is not supported amount okay so since this is an integer uh, I should get rid of this double quoted okay so over here if I run this cashier test test case so I should get errors our test cases should not get passed okay so see transaction amount must be greater than zero because validated transaction the transaction amount is uh, since this exception is thrown and again we are getting one more uh, error that currency usd is not within the accepted currency list we are getting this uh, we are throwing this uh, exception okay so to handle this exception uh, what we can do is uh, in a j unit we uh, we will just pass here expected is equals to expected is equals to uh, runtime exception runtime exception dot class and sim sim similarly we will be uh, passing this also okay and now if I go ahead and uh, just click on run now the both test cases will get passed yeah you can see both test cases are getting passed because uh, what we are telling this test case is that my expected output should be a runtime exception and this will this uh, call over to this validated transaction is actually creating a runtime exception because this current currency is not getting accepted and this one also create creating a runtime exception because the amount that we are entering over here is not accepted by our method and which will create a runtime exception okay so uh, what we are doing is uh, we are uh, telling that this class extends a runtime exception so we can write the runtime exception over here as well so this class the expected output and the output that we are getting from this method call and also from here both are runtime exception that's why our test cases is getting passed okay so this is how you can handle the uh, runtime exception and uh, we have seen how we can uh, check the runtime exception in java uh, j unit okay so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one